Hi Cancer, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to your June Romance reading for 2020. I hope you're well and safe and I hope you're enjoying the weather that is good, at least in Holland it is. I hope the weather is good with you. I've heard it's 29 centigrade in Canada. Wow! <laughs> it's already midsummer with you lot. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> welcome back and nice to see you back. Thank you for your support and to new people, welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy this channel and I hope you have seen the weeklies as there is some good news. Um, I'm going to do a competition and uh, this week, later this week, once I've finished with the romance readings, I will make a um, plans and a video on how to join the competition and what uh, etc etc with all the details you can win the Shadowland Tarot with compliments from the publishers uh, Shiver and you'll get that box and you'll get a book and have a look at the review in the playlists or at the end of um, this video what you could also win is one of these and um, that this is the second hand one this is my own I've used it but it is in good order so if you would like to vice versa cards then uh, you can choose this book as well it's absolutely voluptuous and that's what the vice versa cards are so if you would like to uh, win have a chance at winning one of these <laughs> decks then uh, please join in the competition um, I haven't uh, sorted out yet uh, what precisely but I do have an idea okay so enough said and if you uh, are new please subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded please give us the thumbs up and share with a family and friends or colleagues and thank you cyber angels for sharing with your friends and family it is appreciated I do go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported with a donation either a super chat or a super sticker okay if you would like an extended reading then please see the information below in the description box or just go to the little white dot in the right hand corner there and you will be taken through to the website and you will this week definitely you will see all the updates so let's continue with the cards this the, the top ones are the Shadowlands and then we have the uh, Enchanted Dream Tarot and the Romance card and the Angel Feather card and the overall energy one card for each week with a definition card okay first of all you have the nine of swords are you having sleepless nights are you having nightmares what are you struggling with you are too much in your head cancer what are you struggling with my advice is um, Put your problems next to your clothes on the chair when you go to bed and let the angels and the divine take care of it for you. And then you can sleep peacefully and rejuvenate. Something is coming to an end because you've got the world card. And where there is an end there is also a new beginning. Are you moving perhaps? Are you worried about that? Have you booked a holiday and are you worried whether you can go on holiday in this time? So I think you will. Something will go up to the next level, either at work or in the relationship. Uh, the world card is also my um, um, not ego card. Uh, yes, some people have a problem with ego. I don't know why that came up. Perhaps you're worried about somebody that has a very big ego and it is scary. Okay, uh, no, the karma card, that is what I was looking for. But somebody might have an issue with ego and you might be worried about that and that's giving you sleepless nights. This could be your potential partner or your partner itself. 
if you um, are hooked up there is something coming to an end because you've got the world and you've got the nine of swords but like I said where there is an ending there is a new beginning but um, there could be an ending to just friendship it is becoming a relationship because you've got the world it might go up to the next level so an ending is not always negative you are in the spotlights and something is being illuminated in the second week and you are in balance because you've got number 19 and that becomes 20 and 20 is 2 so you have found your balance again in the second week or at the end of the first week you've got the sun yahoo again a holiday card a moving card a new beginning perhaps you've been worrying about something for nothing but you do need to do more research with regards to something as something is being illuminated and you are in the spotlight there might be a Leo that's interested in you okay this card also means new beginnings and this could be a birth of a child or of a project a new job if you've been out of work then yes you might start a new job or a new relationship okay beautiful it's a good positive time for you in the second week and you've got the hanged man perspective in this deck and look at that there might have been delays for four hours four days four weeks or for four months perhaps you might have had a job four months ago and now you're starting again the clock is ticking but it's giving no time but I get the time from the leg that looks like a four when you put it like uh, sorry uh, usually um, it, does, it doesn't look very good in this deck um, but in the um, traditional deck it looks like a four upside down so that's why I always say it you get it you're seeing things from a different perspective look at the eagle you're high up you can come down anytime you want to this is also a spiritual card so you might have had time um, to take time out and meditate and contemplate and evaluate what next step you want um, it is you'll find always the answers within you but it takes time but there's no hands on it which I think it's a beautiful definition because time is divine not man uh, sorry the time is made uh, by men but it is in divine time that everything will land on its feet like you you won't be hanging in mid-air anymore something good is going to happen like I said endings new beginnings Wow perhaps even a new place perhaps moving in together perhaps that is what you've been doubting and delaying Woohoo! nice one cancer and you've got the Queen of Cups the Queen of Cups is of course Scorpio but don't um, um, exclude Cancer and Pisces so the Queen of Cups is a loving nurturing lady and that you are in your element in the third week Cancer you might meet a Scorpio that becomes your best friend who knows you might feel as that you have to defend yourself against this lady because we've got the seven of wands that is you standing your ground perhaps you might have to stand your ground and be strong which you are you're stronger than you know, know yourself or want to acknowledge um, perhaps uh, you are uh, have to defend um, a Scorpio or yourself but this card does represent Scorpio or a Pisces perhaps you're helping because like I said the Queen of Cups is a nurturing caring loving passionate lady also she stands for beauty and sensuality and sexuality okay so perhaps because you are you lot are emotional you um, um, uh, she might be weak 
um, or uh, not weak, um, sensitive, oversensitive, and you're stronger than her. You're not. Sh it, it looks like somebody could be a page because she's got no status there, and it could be a page or a knight, and you are the queen, and you know how to keep your emotions under control and nurture the young. So you might have to defend somebody. At the end of June, uh, uh, Cancer, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Perhaps you might get a tax return or you might get a gift and you've been feeling stuck and uh, now you, it is your turn again, a Nine, a new beginning at the end. Where there is an ending, there is a new beginning and it, this is confirmed by the Fall. The fool is number one, or num no, sorry, naught. The fool is naught, sorry. Um, and uh, that means a new beginning. Take that leap of faith. You might not have all the information, but you might uh, get a job offer. Um, and like I said, where was this? Um, here. You might get a job offer in mid-June, um, um, but you need more information. Um, or you might get a promotion uh, in mid-June, as this is in the second week, the sun. But you need more information because something is being illuminated. It's giving you a warning. Get more information so that you can uh, defend yourself if need be and keep your emotions in control. That's what the Queen of Pentacles does and you will get more money because the Nine of Pentacles means more money. Something material is going to come to you. So believe that and manifest it and take that leap. If somebody asks you to invest in something, be careful, there is a warning. Um, you need more information. Make sure it is the Nine of Pentacles that it will return um, abundance. We've got the Ace of Cups. You've got, I think you've got a lot of love uh, in June. You might be meeting somebody new. It could be a Scorpio, it could be a Leo. Um, and uh, it, yeah, that's it. Or it could be an other water sign. As you've got the Ace of Cups. This is, the Cups stand for passion and love and nurturing so you might have a new job or a promotion in healthcare you might be working in healthcare or you might be meeting somebody that works in the healthcare you do have a broken heart though um, because that's and that's the way you feel you feel as if you are not loved well let me tell you cancer you are loved by hundreds by everybody that that you are surrounded with family, friends, true friends really love you and appreciate your protection for them because you are a care, caring and nurturing person. You will fight until the end for somebody. I know you do. You're a softie and you do keep your emotions under control. But perhaps you have, like I said, you've lost your job you could also have lost a dear one or it doesn't just have to be a relationship okay the three of swords and look what is here underneath the three of swords recognition recognition the eight of pentacles so there is also good in your reading you have got recognition it could be in love because this is a love reading so you are being seen by water signs definitely also by the Sun okay water signs and um, um, uh, Leo there is a Leo around you that is interested or perhaps you've lost a friendship with a Leo or a water sign and you might be upset about that and you might feel um, saddened with about that but the time will heal. No, there are people that love you. They think you're the star. 
and come out of your shell open your heart let love in otherwise if you don't open your heart and your solar plex you can't have fun anymore be playful to recapture romance allow your inner youth for spirit of fun to shine let your inner child out you don't always have to be the queen of cups the nurturing type you nurture your, nurture yourself and defend yourself by all means but if somebody cannot accept uh, your decisions or what uh, if you say if they ask you can you do this and you say not right now sorry um, or no um, if they can't accept that that's their problem not yours so carry on climb up the ladder and take that leap of faith that new beginning it's definitely here at the beginning of the month if not at the end of the month it will only get better now you've got the indigo angel feather perhaps you might be an indigo a new age child perhaps that's why you are different and indigo children are sensitive it's like the rainbow children and the new age children the uh, Aquarius the age of Aquarius children those are all the new categories that we hear a lot about nowadays it's time for you to meditate the angels are ready to assist you with development of your psychic perception and visual acuity during meditation and you've got the hanged man so meditation is definitely um, in your energy field this month the indigo angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of clairvoyance indigo is a mixture of blue and purple you have the ability to develop great psychic powers as you have searched for your own inner outer awareness boom perhaps that's been illuminated okay so you've been learning or gathering knowledge perhaps spiritually and actually the hanged man which is a spiritual card is underneath the Sun <clears throat> as you have searched for your own inner and outer awareness your intuition has been heightened and spiritual no uh, knowledge has developed the angel are angels ask that you maintain a regular meditative practice so that you can assist with attuning your third eye chakra the angels also ask that you trust your spiritual insights your intuition so let the inner child come out they usually are very sensitive you are sensitive uh, cancer so be aware of it don't ignore your gut feeling now the angels is Archangel Jeremiah the angel of meditation clairvoyance pro, uh, prophetic and psychic dreams so yes you might have sleepless nights um, but Jeremiah Archangel Jeremiah is with you and you might be scared but don't be because you're not alone it the dreams also means that you're working through old sadness okay you might be working through old sadness or losses so don't all take it as bad you know um, I do my readings to let you know what kind of energy is around you but you are always in your power your power to do what you want and what decisions you make and you've also got Archangel Raziel the Archangel of secret mysteries whose name means the secret of God enhances your intuition insight clairvoyance clairaudience and clairsentience so where and the, the, the stones are amethyst 
and kyanite and lapis lazuli, sapphire. Those are the stones that will in heighten your psychic abilities or your spiritual abilities. Doesn't matter whether it's faith in a, a faith or in the spirituality of meditation or chakras or anything like that or tarot cards or Lenormand cards. You are getting more in tuned with yourself and that can be attractive to other people because it also shows your nurturing side is coming out boom I love it I hope you've enjoyed this reading cancer and take time out a meditation does help and it brings less stress so meditate after a long day's work sit for 10 minutes Meditate if you don't want to meditate, just take a cup of tea and contemplate. And after the contemplation, do the evaluation that will bring you to the next step up. Enjoy. So, open your heart, open your solar plex, and let the new in. Whether it's love, friendship, and let go of the old sad or losses. There's new things happening big time for you. So take care. And oh, by the way, if it doesn't happen in June, it could happen in July or August. As you've got the, a lot of water here. So that is end of June from the second week onwards. And then to the around the 21st of July. And then you've got Leo in the sun, the summer okay <clears throat> so it might be until the end of August that it might take for a new love to come in if you're not hooked up and if you are hooked up you are also developing emotionally within the relationship and going up uh, 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 in the relationship you it's like if you're refreshing a relationship if you've been married for 25 years okay and for those that are thinking about getting hooked up yes I think you will because the Sun is here and that is also uh, happiness new beginnings coming together awesome I think this is a very very sound reading for you cancers take care and be blessed